Welcome back guys this is Vishu from Savage Camp and in this video we are going to look at mutable and immutable objects. So this is basically just for common sense like um, if someone says that create a mutable data type named intro and assign some values into it you should know what mutable and immutable means and these would you would see these in questions or while you are researching or trying to do some projects so it's good knowledge to have so here i have a definition of mutable so mutable is prone to change which means that it can be changed and immutable means that it cannot be changed so in python immutable strings are immutable so if i run this now and I use ID it will give me the address of this string so this string is hello world which has an address of this value now strings are immutable which means that strings cannot be changed so here if I do intro is equal to hello savage camp I am changing the value of intro and if I run this now what you will notice is even though I have changed the value of the variable there is a different address and this is one thing that confuses a lot of people strings are immutable which means that it cannot be changed and that is why when you reassign the value inside a string it creates a new string so this hello this intro is different than this intro so that is why strings are immutable it did not change this value it did not change anything that sits in this address it instead created a new object with that name now coming back to list a list is mutable which means that you can change the list now here if I run this you will see that the list has the same address and that is one thing that is not present in strings strings have different address every time you initialize them because they are immutable so with list you can see it is immutable so list that resides in this address can be changed and it will still reside in the same address that is the main point forget about what you see in the variable what how it is stored is actually the real value because it is stored in a different memory location so those are two different things if they have the same name but they are in different parts of the world those are different things in the list case everything is in the same location and if I come back to a set and remove this and run this you will see the set also has different values so you have to understand if they reside in different locations in the memory those are different objects and that is why a string is immutable so when you try to change the value of a string the python is actually creating a new string not assigning the same value because these sit in different locations which is not the case with our list so that is it guys and let me run this again so you have all these uh, things to see these are the same addresses different address and the set also has different address so that is it guys a quick video on mutable and immutable things and i will see you guys in the next video